Look Outreach is underwritten by the generous support of Munter Enterprises. Family owned and operated since 1972, integrity is important as our family name is on every project. Our word is our bond. Munter Enterprises. Just build it. Welcome back, everyone. Well, anyone who follows this program with any regularity at all knows how much we believe in the basic tenet of why we're all here, which is democracy, and that one of the basic principles of democracy is to allow people that have opinions, that have voices, that feel that they can contribute to give them a platform so that the rest of us might join arms with that person and maybe benefit the whole. And joining me today is a candidate for governor of New York. This is Larry Sharp. And Larry is running on the libertarian ticket. I was contacted by some of the people in the region here who are libertarians. Sure. Told me that you're running, and then hence we wanted to invite you in and, uh, and get to know you. Thank you. So My team is first, rock and rolling. <laughs> well, that's good. We all, mm -hmm. we all like rock and roll around Absolutely. here, Larry. <laughs> uh, so first, welcome. Very nice to meet you. Very nice to have you here. Thank you for having me. Uh, you're quite welcome. Um, first, um, first up. Anybody that runs for political office that I talk to, and I mm -hmm. talk to a lot of people that run for office, sure. is you're, you're driven. You're driven by principles. Um, what drives you, Larry? It's a great question. I think that I'm driven for this because of my own personal history. Mm. My mother is, was an immigrant. She passed away years ago. She struggled here. She struggled with addiction once my father passed when I was a kid. And because of that struggle that she had, she went to prison. She's a convicted felon. She struggled to have a job. She struggled. Uh, she was stigmatized her entire life. And she started based upon legal drugs. And that addiction tore her up. And she lost everything. I had to come back from my time in the Marine Corps to help her out and to bring her back up. I never forgot how much she struggled and how much we struggled. The system is not made to be a second chance system. It's a punishment system, not a justice system. It's a system that says we will be righteous regardless of who we hurt. I don't want that. Well, you know what? It, uh, it's one of the, again, you're going back to a, an interesting principle here. Is, is, it the, is it the government over the individual or the individual contributing to the well-being of the government? Um, now, you, that could flow through, right? You have children of your own. I do. I have a lovely 13-year-old daughter and a 7-year-old daughter. And what world are they going to grow up in? Are they going to grow up in a world where they can't make a mistake? Are they going to grow up in a world where there is no opportunity of growth? What's happening now in New York State is we... We've become a real empire state run by an emperor with central control versus a state of empires, local empires of, of happiness and joy. If you could ask somebody, what's the one thing that makes everybody happy? The answer is nothing. Mm -hmm. We all pick our own happiness, and that's the whole piece. To think that one centralized government can make everyone happy is... You can't legislate happiness, but you mm -hmm. can facilitate it. You can allow people to have growth and opportunity in their own lives, in their world, in their local communities. Mm -hmm. And that's what we've lost. Well, you know what? There's more depth to what you're saying than when it, when it almost sounds like, Larry. Uh, you know, if people, if the biggest concern in this state was happiness, well, then how would the state function? You know, so, but I understand w what you're saying. And in essence, that conflict that we feel now has a lot to do with what you and I probably would refer to as identity politics. Yes. You're either one party or you're the other party, and nothing else matters. Yes. So and this there's is where no we've... happiness in that, trust me, right? What there is in this is, is survival. Right? This is now politics of survival. Yeah, right. Right now you have two sides, and both of these sides have decided that the other side is evil. Mm -hmm. So we now have identity politics. I identify more with A or I identify more with B. I jump on that side and I begin to punish you. And the goal now is just to make sure you lose. Now I win. But what happened to the actual values that each party had? The Republican Party is supposed to be about small business, respecting the tax base, but they're not. That hasn't happened. The Democratic Party is supposed to be about individual freedoms, caring about people. No, they talk that and their rhetoric is very different. That's for surely true. But if you look at the actual governing, it's only about I'm not him. Yeah, that's I'm right. I'm not him. That's right. That has to change. When you get someone else, a third party in there, even at 10, 15, 20%, now there's a referee. Right. Now it forces those other two parties that are supposed to be about values to actually step up and be that. Mm -hmm. They have to actually do what they're supposed to do versus just stop the other guy. You know what? Um, uh, Larry's background is interesting. Uh, in the Marine Corps, 
right out of, well, 17 years old, so 17? Again, basically right out of high school there, if that, right? Mm -hmm. um, went on to college. Uh, you learn a lot when you're in the Marine Corps, for <laughs> yes. sure. Came back, has been an entrepreneur his whole life, so I know a lot of what you're talking about has to do with the fact that you've been in the trenches yourself and you understand a lot of the principles that you're talking about. You know what I love? I love the idea of a uh, referee. As mm -hmm. a matter of fact, um, I'm going to break this interview into two parts, okay? Okay. Uh, so um, in part two, I want to talk more about that and talk about some of the priorities that you're going to have uh, if you succeed in running for governor or just if you want to be that referee. Absolutely, right? yes. Okay, Larry. Uh, to see this interview again, you can head to our website, looktvonline.com. Look Outreach is underwritten by the generous support of Munter Enterprises. Family owned and operated since 1972, integrity is important as our family name is on every project. Our word is our bond. Munter Enterprises, just build it. Exceptional products, expert design, experienced professionals. An American Buildings Company authorized builder can turn your dream of a new building into a reality. Because ABC Builders are local contractors, they know your market and can handle your project from beginning to end. So if you're ready today, your ABC Builder is building tomorrow. Call Munter Enterprises, 518-584-6174.